With over 65 million people displaced around the world today, it's absolutely essential that we tackle the issue of state fragility. In countries such as Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, and South Sudan, poor governance, insecurity, and violence and poverty are plaguing nations in ways that are causing displacement, regional disruption, enabling extremism, and promulgating global upheaval. As the new administration comes into Washington, D.C., the charge is to tackle both the short-term need to address violence and desperation, as well as the long-term opportunity to bring back peace and prosperity to these fragile states. Between the defense, development, and diplomatic communities, there's a huge array of tools that we have at our disposal to put to use towards this charge. In the short term, the U.S. can provide humanitarian assistance in ways that enable lives to continue. We can facilitate negotiations that cease violence on the ground. And we can work with governments at local, regional, and national levels to return good governance and to enable services to be provided. In the longer term, we have an opportunity to return these societies to normalcy in ways that they productively contribute to the economy and society writ large around the world. As the incoming administration crafts its foreign policy agenda, it can address the drivers of violent extremism, reduce displacement, and usher back peace and prosperity through short and long-term investments to reduce state fragility.